number 10 is showing an open circle at positive 1. So x cannot equal positive 1, but it could be any value greater than positive 1. So x is greater than 1. That's the inequality. Didn't ask you for a solution set, so I'm just looking for this inequality. For 11, we have a solid dot at negative 1. So I know x could equal negative 1, but it can also equal all of these values to the left of negative 1. So anything less than or equal to negative 1 would be the correct inequality for number 11. Now for 12 through 17, you kind of have to check yourself. Uh, for 12, x could be any value greater than or equal to negative 3. So if you have negative 3 as a solution, that's correct. And then anything greater than negative 3, like 50 or 89 or 0 or negative 2 or negative 1 or negative 1.5, as long as you convince yourself that it's negative 3 or any number to the right of negative 3 on a number line, then you got them all. Q is greater than 9. How about 10, 11, 12? Or 9.3, 9.4, 9.5. As long as it's three values to the right of 9, and you should not have included 9 on this one, then you got it right. 14, n is less than or equal to 0. So you could have 0 as a solution or any negative number. Uh, k is less than negative 1 half. Here you have to be careful with negative numbers because there are, of course, some negative numbers that are greater than negative half, like negative 1 tenth. But if you have like negative 1, negative 5, negative 99, anything that you're certain is to the left of negative 1 half. And of course, negative 1 half should not be considered a solution if you listed it. 16, r is greater than negative 10, negative 5, 0, 1 million, anything to the right of negative 10 on a number line. Negative 10 should not be included as a possible solution. 17, m is greater than 3.5. I'm sorry, greater than or equal to 3.5. So if you have 3.5, that's a possible value for m. 3.51, 3.52, anything to the right of 3.5 or 3.5 could be considered a solution.